So here's another secret to having more joy in your life. And I call this go the other way. Sometimes we're in a situation in which something is being uh, compelled in some way. Okay. Uh, No, you can't do this without waiting on this line for two hours. Or no, before you are allowed to do this, you must first go through this process. Now, these are all totally legitimate. Okay. And you have to realize that in many, many circumstances in society, people set up these systems because it's how they can deal with what has to happen in that particular circumstance. Oftentimes when we're in that situation, we feel so frustrated because it's like, oh, I can't believe I have to stand here for two hours just to hand them a paper or sign my name or pay them my money or whatever it is. So my tip is go the other way. I have another choice, which is I can go the other way. So for instance, maybe you're in line at the DMV. Maybe the line is very, very long. Maybe it's, you know, it's going to take three hours or something. Well, you have a few choices. You can simply say, there's another DMV 20 minutes away. I can go to that one. I could do this another day. I could do this another time of the day. I'm going to shop somewhere else. I'm going to look for a different restaurant. It's not mean. You don't have to be insulting. It's simply you doing what is good for you. You know, you don't be resentful or anything. You just recognize the situation and you go another way. And when you start to learn to apply this in your life, you actually release a whole bunch of weird frustration that really isn't anybody's fault. It's just their situation and your situation aren't matching up at the moment. So I want to give you that advice. If you find yourself in a situation that is feeling really frustrating or very upsetting, very limiting to you, think about how could I go another way? 